हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई धैर्य भाटिया वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स डीएनए फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू इन्फिनिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ से नेक्स्ट डिसम्बर जून 2019 पार्ट बी रियल एनालिसिस बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी शेयर समथिंग विथ यू दैट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी एस आर नेट मैथमेटिक्स देन हियर इज अ गुड न्यूज फॉर यू We have introduced an all-in-one book with 2,000 plus solved questions as well as material, including general aptitude. You can find the link of this book in the description below as well as on our Telegram channel. Moving on to the question, the question is: Let g n x equals to n x upon 1 plus n square x square, where x belongs to close zero to open into infinity. Then, which of the following is true as n tends to infinity? The options are a, g n tends to zero pointwise but not uniformly. B, g n tends to zero uniformly. C, g n x tends to x for all x belongs to close zero open infinity. And D, g n x tends to x upon one plus x square for all x belongs to close zero open infinity. This is a very simple question. If you just knew some results. Taking the first one, we know that it is given to us g n x equals to x n x upon one plus n square x square or x square n square whatever you can write. Then g x equals to limit n tends to infinity g n x, which is equals to limit n tends to infinity n x upon one plus n square x square. Now we eliminate n from the numerator as well as from the denominator. This gives us Limit n tends to zero x upon one by n plus n into x square. Now, no matter what x you select, this limit will always be equals to zero. So, g x, sorry, that is g n x tends to g x, which is equals to zero, and this is pointwise convergent. So, option C and option D are not true from here. Also, we have a simple result which says that a sequence f n of functions. On a, which is subset of R, to R does not converge uniformly because in option B they are asking about uniform convergence. So we are using this result to check whether it is uniformly convergent or not convergent. Does not converge uniformly on a zero, which is again a subset of a, to a function f from a zero to R, if and only if for some epsilon greater than zero, there is a subsequence f n k of f n. And a sequence x k in a zero such that mod of f n k of x k minus f of x k is greater than equals to epsilon for all k belongs to n. So consider the two sequences one upon n tends to zero and b n that is n tends to zero. Here b n that is n is the suffix of the sequence. Using these two, we get. Mod of g n of one upon n minus g of one upon n equals to n into one upon n divided by one plus n square into one by n square minus zero. That is equals to one by two. So for epsilon less than one by two, we got this value as one by two. So for all the values of epsilon that are less than one by two and greater than zero, g n one upon n minus g one upon n is always greater than epsilon. And thus, g n is not uniformly convergent. So the only correct option is option A. G n converges to zero pointwise, but not uniformly. Thank you. And you can be a member of our social club and watch 270 plus videos on our YouTube channel. Get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our Telegram channel.